All right, let's start this video by reading a comment. So this one's from Georgette Tassis. Regarding the topic, Kuya, why not discuss something related to Epon or savings? Ha ha ha. All right, I'll give you what you want. If you click this video because of a thumbnail na The Secret to Saving Money, to tell you the truth, there's no secret in saving money. Ipaasa ka lang from a video or a book that you read and bigla ka nalang matututo mag-ipon. I'm sorry to crash your hopes, but it doesn't work that way. Reading, listening, and watching how to save money definitely helps. But in order for it to work, kailangan mo siyang i-apply. And also, you have to develop the habit of saving money. So, how does it work? Imagine how to develop the habit of working out regularly. If it's not part of your daily routine, mahirap talaga siya simula. It's the same with saving money. So sa simula talaga, it's just pure willpower until it becomes a habit and pag naging habit na siya, it becomes easier to save money. These are some practical tips that might help you build the habit of saving money. Some of it, baka na-mention ko na from my older videos. Tip number one, every payday, always pay yourself first. So anong ibig sabihin nun? I think the common formula sa pag-save natin dito sa Pilipinas is income minus expenses equals savings. So what they suggest is baguhin natin yun. So ang sab- sabi nila, just put yung income minus savings equals expenses. So bakit ganun? Because pagka ganun yung ginawa mo, automatically every payday may dedicated ka na na portion ng sweldo mo na masasave mo. And yung rest, yung matira, that will become your budget for your expenses. Additional tip with regards to this, uh, automate things. So I suggest open a separate account sa ipod mo. And every cut off, uh, make sure na a portion of your sweldo will go dun sa separate mong savings account na pinag-iipunan mo talaga. Tip number 2, experiment saving styles. So para sa akin, just take to what works for you. So sa akin, ang style ko is, I just put a target every year kung magkano yung gusto ko maipon. So example, for this year, I want to say 25k or 50k or 100k or 150k. So ang gagawin ko lang, i-divide ko yun by 12. And then yung target ko for each month, yun yung isi-save ko every month and, ju- and I just keep track of it every month. So meron din naman isa pang sikat na style sa Philippines is yung 52 week money challenge. So how it works is every week for the whole year may may target kang iipon each month and ang daming variations no. Just Google 52 week money challenge. I think what's similar dun sa style ko in yung 52 week money challenge is yung pag-track mo ng savings mo. And I think yung pag-track mo ng naipon mo, it helps you being committed dun sa journey mo of savings. Tip number 3, experiment budgeting techniques. So ako, I just usually suggest yung 50, 30, 20 rule of budgeting. So how does it work is 50% ng income mo goes to your needs, 30% goes to your wants, and 20% goes to savings or investment. So if you want a more detailed para explanation of this uh, technique, I just link a video dun sa show notes ko sa upper right corner screen or kaya sa description box below. So para sa kanya, you could always make a variation of this uh, technique pwedeng 40, 40, 20, 40 percent sa needs, 40% sa wants, and 20% sa savings mo. Or kaya naman, 30, 20, 50. 30% sa needs, 20% sa wants, 50% sa savings mo. Of course, the higher yung napupunta sa savings mo, the better. Enough of the tips, let me just tell you yung story kung paano ako natutong mag-ipon ng money. So, narealize ko lang to earlier this year. So, siguro January yon. So, I was drinking a coffee with a friend and tinanong ko siya, uh, ano yung ginagawa mo sa pera mong napapamaskuhan mo? And sinagot niya sa akin is, uh, after daw nila mamasko, they went to the mall and binibili nila yung gusto nila. And, reaction, and yung reaction ko to that uh, answer is sabi ko, Oh, yung reason behind it is because it's totally different sa amin. And siya lang talaga yung perspective ko kung ano yung ginagawa ng ibang tao sa money nila during sa napamasko nila. Because that's the only time na may tinanong ako, may tinanong ako about that question. And... Yung ginagawa kasi namin from our napamaskuhan is, uh, syempre, bibilangan mo yun after mo mapapaskuhan. And automatically, yung parents ko and yung grandparents ko puts it in our savings account. So ever since I was a kid, I was aware of a savings account. So yung savings account namin, it was a joint savings account with our parents and sa rural bank of my high pa yun eh. So wala talaga kaming way of us spending yung money namin doon sa province namin kung saan kami namamasko. Kasi wala naman mapaggagasasan doon kasi it's a very small town na wala talagang meron doon sa province namin. And if you want to instill yung habit of saving money to your kid, I highly suggest open them a savings account. Bata pa lang sila and if they have parang extra money or may napapamaskuhan sila, parang teach them how to put yung money nila to their savings account because it's something na I really appreciate 
what my parents parang taught me ever since. Okay, last na lang before I end this video, let me just read another comment. This is from I am Azriel. So, siya siguro si AZ before. Hi kuya, gusto ko talaga yung adulting series mo. Pero gusto ko sana makita or mapanood yung mga yung mag-interview ka ng random people from the streets regarding sa adulting nila. So with regards to random people, I definitely want to try to make content with strangers. So if familiar kayo sa Yes Theory, I'll probably make one na ganung style. Amar, read this comment. Convincing someone in the airport to fly somewhere different with you guys. Yeah. That's brilliant. Let's go right now. My friend and I are doing a challenge where we're trying to find a traveler who's willing to change their travel plan and join us in going to their dream destination for a day. And then we'll book them from there to wherever they were going. We'll do it. We're just tired of the rat race and not spending time with our family. You know, it, it, everybody has a start date. Mine is, is, is 1958. And one day, that 1958 is going to be followed by a dash and another date. So it's that dash that's in between that's really, really important. And, and so we really strive to live the dash. It's amazing just t seeing the power of putting something out there. And it's something that we try and push people to just do because you literally don't lose anything by telling the world, by telling people around you what is it that you want. You want. But mal matagal pa, matagal pa. Pero I definitely, definitely would love to make content with a stranger. With regards to adulting naman, I'd try to make one pa within the year or kaya pag hindi talaga it's probably next year because yung lineup of topics na gusto ko pang gawa ng content uh, within this year is yung what to do with your 13th month pay uh, it's about kindness it's about happiness and success so parang yun muna yung priority ko but if I have the time and na inspire ako from one of my friends or may inspiration ako to draw from a story para sa adult eh, I'd definitely make one pa for before the year ends. Last lesson na lang that I wanted to share then I promise I'll end this video. So siguro yung topic na to is about showing appreciation or telling genuine compliments. It was brought up by one of the podcasts na pinapakinggan ko and yun, it was really true. So yung example nun is, you know, giving compliments. Hindi ko alam kung bakit we are so shy to saying good things about others. And if wala ka namang masamang intention, parang don't or never hesitate. Nag, don't ever hesitate gawin yon. Saying nice things is one of the few things na libre and it doesn't cost you any money. So, you know, definitely do it. Or kaya naman if meron kang nakakwentuhan or you just, you know, just show appreciation. Like, tell them na, oh, I really had a great conversation sa'yo. And I really appreciate yung mga pinagsasabi mo. Ganon. Or kaya naman when you see someone perform, you know, don't be shy to clap. Wag ganyan. Parang, woo! I mean, parang, it, it's something na hindi tayo maubusan. Because appreciation, di ba? Parang, it doesn't cost you any money. It just You just need to put a little effort to parang show it. So, ayun lang. That's where I wanted to parang end this lesson or end this video. I mean, like, you know, ah, uh, it's, it's something free. Something na wag natin tipidin. So, ayun lang. Like, Show appreciation to any to everyone. So it, that's it. Uh, if you appreciate this video, now now ayaw ko naman na lumabas na. I'm, I'm saying that lesson for you to like or comment. But yun, not just for this video, but for everyone. You know. So yun lang. Hit the like button. Comment if you really appreciate it. Even yung emoji na thumbs up lang. Right. That's it. Bye. See you in the next videos.